I can feel it coming. It's that time again. It's those old goofy goblins. Welcome to Goofs and Goblins, the tabletop role-playing anthology. I am your host and goof master, Hammer Gibbons. Don't have a whole lot of housekeeping right now, so we're just going to jump right into it. But make sure you stick around for the end of the episode. We have a little announcement about uh, some of our social media. Previously on The Strain. Previously on Campfire Tales. Uh, our three heroes on a lark decided that they would try their hand at bounty hunting. Going off of a tip that they heard, they decided to head around around the eastern face of Baker's Hill, uh, where there allegedly would be a bandit camp. And there they could just pluck one of the bandits out of his bandit camp and turn him in for a bounty. Shoot, if it was this easy, everybody would be doing it. Let's see what kind of crazy hijinks they got into. So we, we are riding on Hell, Princess, and uh, Canyon Arrow, right? Um, sweet. Yeah, we must look so cool on these three strangely named horses. Alright, so we're riding up to a bandit camp. So our three intrepid heroes rode around the east side of the Baker's Hill face looking for a bandit camp that they weren't sure was even there. They rode three abreast on the hot morning, and it took the better part of a few hours to round the Baker's Hill. So does anyone does anyone have any experience in uh, bounty hunting? Uh, I'm going to have to say no, I don't. As a little southern bale, I do not. Well, this uh, might be a bit interesting then. Um... I I guess we should uh, proceed with uh, caution, because it really put a crimp in our silver getting plans if uh, we ended up dying here. I would just re-roll a new character. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and then suddenly, like, like a new... A new <laughs> restaurant like opens up on the other side of the Southern Gentleman. <laughs> the rival. No, it's the Southern Gentleman. It's like under new management, <laughs> owned by a new father and daughter couple. Old yeah. management killed himself when daughter died. Ah, uh, that's so sad. Yeah, it's sad. That's what's happening. I was already shipping your dad with Rosie. Don't do this to me. Right, so um, Huddle kept his eyes and ears sharp um, on the lookout for any sign of uh, um, activity on the horizon. All right. Is it sunset or sunrise, or what time is it? Uh, it's about midday at this point. Midday. It's high noon. Before long, the path started sloping upwards up the hill. Uh, it's it, it became clear to our adventurers that if uh, anyone was camping out here, they are going to be up on these bluffs. It also served a reason that as they got further around these hills, that if anyone was up on these bluffs, they'd picked a mighty fine spot to camp. They'd see anyone coming up before anyone could see them. Hmm. Um. The three of them got it in their heads that they'd roll a perception or a survival check of some kind, see if they could maybe pick up a track. Had people been through here? They didn't know. I'm on it. But they were apt to find out. I will out. roll myself a perception. Difficulty's gonna be three purple and a setback. I've got five failures and a disadvantage. I got one success, two advantage. I got three pips I and an advantage. I got one triumph, and a, but a net failure and a setback. He got three successes and an advantage. And then, did anyone else do better than that? No, he, he certainly got the best. Okay. So, um, maybe I don't see uh, any people or nothing, but I spy, like, a side tunnel? Uh, no, I'm going to say with a failure, you're not going to actually find anything because you failed to perceive things. Yeah, like, I was looking, I was looking for people, and I didn't see any people. But with a triumph, you should get something. But I triumph in seeing something else? So the two people that aren't Huddle, so Annabelle and the Doctor, uh, looking at the trail, not only do they not see tracks, they uh, 
they they noticed the trail to be in such a condition that it's clear no one had been through here. Um, well, I can't just make left or right of this place. I don't even know where we are right now. At least to the untrained eye. Wait, really quick, is that the doctor talking or hell? Is that the doctor's new voice? No, that's, that's, yep, that's my voice. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Huddle could see from the subtle minutia on the track that not only had people been through here, they had taken great care to make it look like they had. Actually, Anna, if you look right here, you can see where uh, someone had been brushing aside the tracks. So, sure, sure enough, there are people using this trail, but they're being quite uh, sneaky about it. Ah, oh, you're so clever, Huddle. Well, I gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll wait here. You go squat around behind that bush. Annabelle stepped away into a bush to pop a squat. Little did she know that it would be a fate-changing squat popping. Uh, cool. So, um, uh, I, I think if we, uh, kept going along this trail, we'd undoubtedly find trouble. But they stand a good chance of finding us before we, uh, found them. So it might be a better idea to either find another way up or lure them down here somehow. Unless anyone has a particularly clever play for uh, how to get in without being shot up first. Annabelle rolls for clever play. Nope, I, I see it on the street right here. It says clever play. Yeah, it's it's right next to just roll to win the game. There you go. I, I rolled it. Oh, anyway. Uh, no, you cannot because as... Uh... <laughs> As uh, okay, as Annabelle pulled off into the bushes to pop a squat, uh, she rolled perception. Oh, nothing and nothing. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You gotta have nothing if you're gonna roll nothing. All right, uh, two failures and three disadvantage. I'm hot. Oh wait, one more. All right, I got two success, sorry. So it's just three disadvantage. Okay. What do you want for those disadvantage? So failure with disadvantage? I guess it's failure, yeah. It's net nothing. Uh, okay. You probably... Maybe you trip on some rocks or dislodge uh, some, some rocks in a very loud way. Uh, no, because she's not sneaking. She's perceiving. And she's failing to perceive... The gun what? that was pressed to her temple. I fail to perceive the gun that's pressed to my temple. All right, well then I'll just continue on my way because I don't see it or feel it. <laughs> I I really feel like advantages and disadvantages until it's too late. <laughs> that's very silly. Uh, anyway, uh, Annabelle felt the cold press of steel against her temple, and heard. The slight chink of a, of a hammer being pulled back. This my bush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I will find another one. No, I don't think so, Missy. Uh, s- s- surveying her captor, uh, Annabelle saw and finally smelled a, a, a grisly old conductor. No, shit. That's not the word. Engineer? People oh, who dig for um, gold. Prospector. Prospector. There we go. That grisly old prospector type. Holding the most beat up revolver she'd ever seen. And she could only catch it out of her peripheral. He too had his trousers <laughs> down about his ankles. Also using this bush to relieve himself. Well, I mean, just because I have to pee doesn't mean Annabelle has to pee. Annabelle went to pee. Annabelle went to pee. And that's how she met this guy who was also going to pee. <laughs> His trousers are about his ankles, but he's pointing a gun at my head. Mm Mm-hmm. Since he had gotten the jump on Annabelle, he didn't dare bend down and pull him up. He was hanging free for the world to see. Was he well endowed? We we wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm just curious for the podcast to know. Me as a character, me as a player once. What does Annabelle see? Does she see a well endowed prospector? Uh, for the listeners at home, he was a, a well endowed prospector. But years of substance abuse had uh, it left him limp and impotent. Perhaps the good doctor could help him as he helped Annabelle's father. Small dinglies. I know about those. I wonder what's taking Annabelle so long. Uh, well, you know, ladies, they 
uh, tend to be uh, a little slower on the draw than us blokes when it comes to taking care of their particulars. Canyon Arrow whinnied a little bit and stamped the ground impatiently. Would uh, oh. would you rather go see what the trouble is? I don't want to catch her with her pants down. Well, then let's just uh, let's just make our intentions known. And um, Huddle started walking in the direction that uh, um, Annabelle went, and he said very loudly, uh, "Honey, are you all right, lass? Uh, just feel like it might be a good idea to check on you because you've been taking quite a while." And he's like walking. Uh, in that direction. Damn it. You got people with you? Tell them you're fine. Uh, well, first you want to say... Um, I don't think the gun's necessary. I'm unarmed. I'm just a fine little lady. How do I know you're not concealing something beneath your bonnet or your blouse? I'm a proper lady. I do not carry a firearm. Proper ladies also don't squat in my bush. <laughs> Proper ladies belong back in town. Your lack of response is not filling me with great enthusiasm of the prospects of you being all right, Annabelle. And I start moving a little faster. He pressed the gun harder into her temple. Tell him that you're fine and not to come over here. I'm fine, Huddle. Don't come over here. Uh, can I roll a, uh, some kind of like... Where is it? Where's my... There it is. Like some kind of insight to, uh... To glean knowledge from her intonation? Yeah. Um, would that be uh, cool? It would be cool if, like, yeah, it went into bullet time and then he, like, analyzed her vocal <clears throat> patterns. Okay, gumption. Was, like, gumption then. And then drew on his uh, psychology uh, education. So, so how, about, how about deception to, then? Because I'm to trying deduce... to tell... I'm trying to recognize to deduce a slight maybe I recognize her line. Her voice. No, I know I sound like I'm being sarcastic, but I I'm, I'm actually just spitballing how this could work. Uh well, I I would uh, if I got to make an argument for something, I'd like to do deception. Like deception. Like I I recognize is that, one that, that what you're she's like saying particularly good at already isn't isn't super true. No, I'm I'm sorry. Deception is not to be used in that way because when someone lies to you in this game you don't use deception to oppose it ever so what do you use to oppose lies discipline okay then i will roll a discipline what's uh what's the um difficulty on this discipline check how hard is it for me to tell if someone is lying about being okay while they pee is it against annabelle's deception oh i'll just check the index lying while peeing <laughs> well i mean would you call this i'd call this relatively um, since she's new, like we're new to each other, I'd probably call it challenging. Would it be a roll she versus a roll? She just put her pants down. She's not nude. Wait, what? <laughs> what? You said she's nude? No, I said we're new to each other. Like I, I've known her for the mat- a matter of hours. I do kind of like gumption. What is gumption I guess... exactly? I don't know what it gumption is. Gumption is, is streetwise. But it's a broader reaching skill than streetwise. It represents gut feelings, intuition, and the ability to find the best way to go out something. So yeah, gumption is definitely what we want to use cool. here. Cool. Um, average? It is a cunning-based skill. Would you would you call this average or... Um, I would call this more difficult than average since maybe a you don't setback, know this girl Because well. I don't know her too well. Yeah, uh, I'll give you one setback and then either three or four purple. Three or four? I feel like you are overestimating how punishing these dice are. I feel like it should be a roll versus a roll because she's the one that's lying. That's not that's not a bad idea. How about uh, uh, Miss Annabelle's deception versus your gumption? And I'm not trying to estimate how these dice play at all. It's just how difficult I think this would be. Okay, so two dice. One success. <laughs> well, I got two disadvantage, so you uh, you beat it. I succeed, but um... cool. So you hear you hear uh, uh, something trembling in her voice, and he- he- hearing a-, a slight tremble in her voice, Huddle knew that she wasn't telling the truth. It must be that she's having irritable bowels. What else could a, a lady such as her be so nervous about? Uh, right. Um, so, uh, 
She said, don't come over here, I'm fine. And I know that that's not and true. And because of the disadvantage, uh, Huddle believes that it has something to do with uh, her organic function. Okay. Um, I say, all right, you just take your time then, and then turn around. <laughs> but even then, it's still, he's got a, he, he's got, he's, he's perked up now. He'll have a boost on his next roll, should there be one, since his uh, curiosity has been piqued. Okay. Sam rested his head okay. on held mane and rubs his, his neck softly and then says, uh, So, Hell, uh, what's that other horse saying over there? Uh, Hell gets really close uh, to uh, the doctor's ear. Hell Hydra. Cool. The other horse uh, continues to whinny and stamp uncomfortably. Um. Um, sir, the gun is highly necessary. I'm simply just a uh, daughter of a restaurant owner out here on a hunting trip. Hunting? Hmm. Everybody knows there's no hunting on these face. It's too darn hot for it. I'm gonna pull the gun away now so as I can pull up my trousers. You don't try nothing funny. <laughs> as soon as he puts his gun away, I'm gonna pull out my gun. <laughs> okay, cool. And so uh, it was about that time when a country prospector put his gun down and went for his trousers that Annabelle sprung into action. Uh, she whipped out her gun and stuck it right in his pecker. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right, uh, with lightning speed, Annabelle whipped out her gun, aimed it right at the prospector's pickaxe. <laughs> Gentleman bits. <laughs> penis, guys, is a penis. We don't say that word! <laughs> so anyway, what does she say to accompany this very aggressive movement. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Strong start. <laughs> Don't ever touch me. I'll put a uh, piercing right through your pecker. It all happened in a flash. Annabelle's gun came out. She intimidated the man, and he dropped the gun. It went off. Bang. Sam. Um, Sam and Huddle. Huddle is uh, suddenly heard a gunshot erupting mm-hmm. from the bushes where Annabelle was squatting. Uh, what's the terrain Annabelle's way like? Is it uh rideable, or is it like? just impossible for a horse uh, to traverse. Pulled off into like a, I mean, a horse could probably pick his way through it, stamp over it, but uh, it, it, it's really a, a small... I mean, she was stepping over little bushes and stuff to, to get out of uh, eye shot from you guys. Or line of sight, I guess is what that's called. Sam hopped off his horse and pulled out his gun mm-hmm. and head, headed towards the gunshot. Yeah, uh, Huddle tears off in that direction as well. Okay. Uh, the the country prospector with a gun pulled on him and uh, with his own gun out of reach uh, began to plead. No, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You just startled me is all. I just startled you so you put a gun up to my temple? You're just... Yeah, I'm sorry. There's just been bounty hunters lately. We've all been... You're just really pretty and I'm bad at talking to women. <laughs> We've just been on high alert because we think there's bounty hunters coming for us. Bounty hunters? Now why would anyone do that? Because we're hard men with hard irons and hard prices on our head. I uh, Sam, Huddle, I could use your assistance right here. Uh, have we arrived? Uh, yes, just as Annabelle turned her head to call for the two gentlemen, uh, they burst through the clearing. Um, do... Is this guy recognizable for any of the wanted posters? Oh, uh, don't forget, his pants are down and his dick is out. Both true, and surveying the man, they didn't recognize him. Whoever he was, he was small potatoes. Except for his penis, which was a large potato. <laughs> Bingo. Um... I, uh, I say, uh, oh, good show, Annabelle, <laughs> you, you caught our first one. Are you talking about his penis? Uh, that was a pretty good show. <laughs> you are the bounty hunters, ain't you? Well, there isn't much reason, uh, otherwise to be coming up here. Surely isn't any good game to be found. Oh, except, of course, for... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I know there was bounty hunters up here. Um, Huddle, uh, Huddle pulls, um, his, a length of rope, um, like his lasso, and he, uh, um, starts going up to tie this, uh, guy's, like... Now, what are you gonna do with that? Um, Huddle tied his arms, uh, up and behind his back. Before Huddle could get a, a good grip on him, 
The man took off running with his pants down. I shoot his pecker. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, yeah, I'll just shoot it. him too. Oh, jeez. Guys should know not to run when people have guns on him. Uh, do I get any bonus for being point blank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a, your favorite bonus. A boost. A uh, boost. Alright. Well, I got <laughs> six advantage. Um, is he uh, close range? I'd like to change three of those into a crit. I think you still have to hit to get a crit. Um, you could give me a boost, though. Oh, uh, with that six advantage? I could probably give you, like, two I boosts. I wouldn't hate it. I don't shoot. Or Sam, Sam didn't shoot. Oh, one sec. Let me look at advantage. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's at close range. Actually, I could give you three boosts. Matt gets three boost. Let's take a look here. That's one, two, three, four. Uh, three successes and... One, and one setback. So three successes um, coming at him. So I add that to the damage, yes, right? Yes, you do. Okay, so that is um, eight uh, plus three. That's 11 damage. Uh, before the man could take more than one step, a bullet ripped through his back and out his heart. He fell face forward dead, sliding a few feet before, he, uh, before his momentum stopped. Well, then that's one down. I don't think I could fix this one. What would be much use of it anyway? Yes, but who heard this? Oh, I'm quite certain people heard him. But if we find a decent place to hide, we might be able to get the drop on him. Alright, we should find a place to hide then. Well, that sounds like a stealth roll if I've ever heard one. Um, how hard is it to hide in this area, uh, Hambone? So, the three of them were far enough down the mountain that there were plenty of different little rocks, crags, and bluffs that they could uh, find shelter behind. So is is that average or hard or...? A craggy, rocky trail, and there's a few sparse little shrubs, and there's some trees growing up on either side of it. Now, getting your horses into a hiding place is going to be a lot more difficult. Mm. Canyon Arrow is an expert at hiding. Mm. Canyon Arrow is 11 lanes wide. <laughs> <laughs> you dug yourself in a hole with that song. Canyon Arrow, uh, like, like sits down on its haunches and just looks like, and just looks like another, like, rock face. <laughs> he just looks like a whole plains itself. Yeah, Canyon Arrow is, uh, an elven cloak that turns into rocks when you, uh, throw it over yourself. I love it. Man, that was a cool scene. We're waiting to know how difficult it is so we know how much, how many purple dice to roll. I'm not sure. With, uh, with, with I horses. I mean, does it matter? We just roll what we got. With, with horses, I'm not sure how to parse this difficulty. Uh, yeah. The horses, horses make it real hard. Um, I, f the other horses can hide behind Canyon Arrow, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Canyon Arrow, yeah. Canyon Arrow counts as, uh, full cover. <laughs> what if we, what if we don't hide the horses at all? but put the horses right next to um, the corpse, and that way all their attention will be attracted onto that. Like an ambush shot? Exactly. Um, horses are still worth a pretty penny um, in this day and age, so they wouldn't just shoot them on sight. And if all their attention is there, we can get the jump on them. Uh, that sounds like a good idea to me. Kenyan Arrow could be spotted from miles away. Yes, and I'm, I'm definitely all right risking Princess because she's been... A real handful lately, and uh, I think... I wouldn't mind if she was shot dead. <laughs> uh, so, um, Huddle uh, grabs the um, corpse of uh, the prospector and drags it over to where the horses are and then looks for a place to hide where he can um, uh, ambush whoever comes to check out the scene. Okay, uh, make me um, just like a tiny one difficulty strength check. Okay, um, so just use my brawn or like athletics? Yeah, if you've got athletics, you can add that to it. Okay, cool. Oh, That's yeah. That's good. Oh, um, he got two it. Two successes uh, and cool. an advantage. So Huddle picking up the corpse of the, of the late prospector uh, picked him up with such strength that his very wallet fell from his upturned trousers. 
uh, flying open and, and revealing you... uh, pictures, photographs of his, of family. his family. Yep. Yeah, and, uh, there it and is. And a certificate that it was his last day on the bandit force. <laughs> uh, <laughs> always. Um, is anyone in his family particularly good looking? Uh, his his uh, handsome nephew. Uh, yep. how many children? Uh, he was the, the the proud father of eleven. Okay, so like an average family the in the 1980s, in the 1800s. In the 1980s, sure. uh, he also had uh, two gorgeous golden retrievers. Oh, the biggest loss of it all. Yeah, those dogs. Their names were silver and gold. <laughs> <laughs> And Silver fucking hated being a golden retriever named Silver. But there was nothing it could do. There you go. Uh, that's the man you killed. Great. I'm I'm uh, I- I'm super glad that we've <laughs> fleshed out this character. Cool. It's like a Peter Molyneux game. His wife also had cancer. Whoa, no. I mean, how does she know she had cancer? This is 1870. They knew about... Did they know about cancer? Uh, it's Western cancer. Everybody knows about it. Plato identified cancer I under his microscope. I don't think that's right. All right, here comes a Wikipedia article that I'm going to write. <laughs> cancer is pretty write. new. Cancer kind of came up the is same time. Is it that it came up, or is it that like it was more discovered? Yeah. The earliest written record of cancer is from 1600 BC. You know, Plato, yeah. ancient Egyptians. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty fucking close. And the reason they call it cancer, referring to them with the Greek word, karkinos, crab, or crayfish. Because the first oh. cancer was discovered in a crab. Carcinoma. Because he thought it looked like a crab. So I, I had the ancient angle, I had the Greek angle. Uh, this has been Cancer Corner Bam. with Hammer Gibbons. Uh, with all these rocks and stuff, um... I feel like it might just be hard, or maybe uh, average with a setback. I like I like uh, hard with setback, as you're riding uh, beasts of burden. Well, yeah, not we're using to hide we're, the horses. Oh, that's right. You're not trying to hide them. Okay, then yeah, average cool. with setback is good. So that is two dice and All a right. bla- two purples so, uh, and a black, versus whatever your stealth is. Yes. And. A huddle hatched up the harebrained idea that they'd leave their horses out in the open. Hide nearby so that they could ambush anybody who came up to look at them. Well, shit. Um, Huddle got... As far as plans went, it wasn't the greatest, but it was the one they had. Huddle got a failure with um, one advantage. Failure with advantage on trying to hide. Yeah, so I don't hide. Um, Like, I get behind a boulder. Annabelle got... Two. I get behind a boulder, but then, like, my hat is still sticking up from uh, the top of it. Um, <laughs> is that a 10-gallon hat, or are you happy to I see me? I got one and one, whatever that means. Did you, wait, did you roll three dice? Yeah. How many was I supposed to roll? Roll again. Yeah, only two purple. Oh. Roll your thing. Yeah, average is two, hard is three, daunting is four. Darth Vader is I got, five. Yeah, formidable is five. Whatever it is. I personally got two and t- two it two success negative oh yeah two disadvantage sorry. Okay, success with disadvantage. What are these things called? I'm gonna start just straining you guys. I got two setbacks. I knew you were gonna start straining us. I got two. No, I got yeah two setbacks. Okay. I rerolled. I got I got nothing. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to my advantage probably to uh, give myself a bit of a jump on the initiative or whatever initiative rolls so like i can i can i'm definitely not well hidden but i also have a slightly better field of view so i'll I'll be able to react a little quicker if um when it comes time to draw all righty yeah and annabelle's hidden but she was way too worried about it so she took some strain how'd you take strain you can she was worried turn your disadvantage oh okay like to to deprive the GM of using it to help enemy in something. Well, no, he said I took strain. Uh, so okay. I got I two setbacks. Strain. Two strain. Can I just, just like, take two setbacks? 
too strain. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Strain, strain is uh, you you want you want to use that strain. It's it's a. I mean, you can't use strain. Sorry, but don't feel bad about strain. It goes away at the end of an encounter. Uh, all right, so everyone got hidden, and they know what their results are. I have are. two strain. And did you fail or succeed? Uh, net zero. He did nothing. And so failed. Matt failed. And Johnson, did you fail as well? I succeeded, but I took strain, so... Cool. Uh, before long, the thundering of hooves could be heard coming down the path. Uh, if anyone would like to roll perception, I can give you an idea of how many hooves. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Perceive things. Why don't we all do that, boys? How hard is it to know? Probably a I got three, uh, uh, two, three advantages. I got one success, one advantage. Okay. I got um one success and one success. Net one success. Okay. All right. Uh, Tran. I got no successes, uh, but I got three of those triumphs. Sam. Sam wasn't able to count how many hooves there were, but he could hear irregular hoof beats. Something, something strange about those hooves. They're dancing their way down the canyon. Uh, for Huddle and Annabelle, they counted nine hoof beats. I'm gonna recover a strain with that advantage. Okay. Um, Huddle um readies his um he he draws his guns ready to fire. Okay. Don't you think nine is too much for us? No, nine hooves. Oh, nine so hooves. So there's... So... <laughs> so there's... Yeah. Fucking three three-legged horses. <laughs> there was a moment of silence while the three of them thought that over. It's either three three-legged horses or two horses and one guy on a pogo stick. <laughs> the bottom of which uh, is uh, a hoof. A hoof-shaped pogo yeah, a stick. a hoof-shaped pogo it's stick. It's a pogo stick with a horseshoe on the bottom of it. <laughs> that's like some it's oh that's so it's, good uh four kangaroos with uh with horseshoes and a guy on a pogo stick or no they've got a they've got a horseshoe on their tails so they slap it against the ground each time they hop uh sam picked up the gun that was laying on the ground okay the one that the guy prospector had the, the dead man's gun all right uh and with all the fury of hell the bandits came down the trail. Wait, they took... And hell they, was waiting for them. They took my, the fury of my horse. <laughs> Bursting through the clearing. Three men on three three-legged horses. Our three-legged horses. Three men on three three-legged horses. That's the irregular sound that I heard. Galloped into the clearing. Um, Oye, amigos, take a look. Horses with four legs! <laughs> <laughs> Do we recognize any of these men? It seems like it's our lucky day! Uh, are any of them um, wanted posters? Uh, all three of them are uh, vaqueros and as such are Mexicans, and none of them were recognizable from the posters. None of them are recognizable from the posters? Correct. Uh, cool. Hey, boss, wait. I think you better wait a minute, man. How come? There's horses here, and where is the prospector? And also, why would someone just leave us horses? We should be on alert. This is the logical guy, and, but the leader doesn't listen to. Ah, but you're the straight man, and I'm the crazy one, so I'm just going to go for <laughs> these horses. Um, do they seem... Uh, are, they, are they calling the prospector uh, the prospector? Well, okay. Um... Can I roll some kind of uh, insight to know, like, if they particularly care, if they reacted like, oh, no, our friend is dead when they saw the prospector's body? Because they might just be dudes who, like, knew him, not guys who are bandits and working with him. I thought you hit him. the body. No, no, no. We just stuck it uh, over with the horses. Oh. Uh, the, 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 the three of the men ran their three-legged horses to a halt and went simultaneously remove their sombreros and put them over their heart. My friends, a moment of silence for the prospector. Are they all missing the same leg, or are they all missing different legs? Uh, all of the horses were born that way. 
It's like a tripodal situation. <laughs> <laughs> Do they just have like a random leg in the middle of their chest? No, 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 no. It, it, it's it's a an even distribution of weight. Still, it's like a Darth Maul when you got the robot legs in that one comic, or like a camera tripod. Yeah, yeah. I know. What, I mean, I'm just oh, confused. Like, saying no, their torsos are built a little bit differently. Jesus, these things must look terrifying. They're like mutant. Yeah, they're mutant horses. <laughs> uh, all right. Annabelle took a shot because she was untrained and didn't know what to do, and she was expecting an ambush. Okay. All right. What's uh, the difficulty? Just before Annabelle could pull off her shot, the 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 men noticed the little hat poking up from the clearing. Do they say anything? Uh, hey, hey, boss, I think someone is over there. <laughs> da, amigos, we've, we've been ambushed. Uh, when they say that, Sam, sh- or when they said that, Sam shoots off both guns. All right, everybody, you guys can have one surprise round. Take your shots. Right, I got one success here, and then one success and a triumph here. Um, are they at medium What's the difficulty? Medium range or close range? Yes, they are. Medium range is three dice, right? Medium range is two. Is it dependent on what type of weapon you use? Or? No, it's no. Medium right. range is always two. I got net three successes, which is eleven damage. Did you guys know that um, Mr. Bean is an alien? What? I did know that. Oh, yeah, let's watch the Thanksgiving episode again. Okay. Mr. Bean's an alien? Yep, every fucking segment starts with him beaming down. From where? Oh. From space or his spaceship or something. That's why he's so weird and can't, like, interact with people, because he's an alien. <laughs> That's so cool. That's mind-blowing, isn't it? It is. That's cray-cray. Um... So, Hammer, there's three vaqueros, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so I don't know which one I shot at if for your purposes, but... the So there's the boisterous leader. Okay. There's the straight man, mm-hmm. and then there's uh, the shadow. The shadow. Okay, so I... Clearly, I shot the straight man. I shot at the leader. Okay. Um, And I'm... Uh, I missed. Sam's I shot. missed, but I got a triumph and four advantage. So I'm gonna upgrade uh, his difficulty. Upgrade a difficulty dice on his net check, and a triumph. Yeah, with the triumph. Do you want to scare his horse so that he falls off of it? Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that is a great great idea. I also have a triumph. So I I shoot his horse startles and I duck back down behind the rock and so it's giving me a little more defense and then okay. um I guess uh yeah my last advantage I'll just add a boost to something you can do that with cool. an advantage right yeah I think you give a boost to someone else with one um yeah you give it to an ally not yourself okay so I'll give it to uh. Whoever's first, whoever, uh, the first PC slot that isn't me in the initiative. Uh, Sam had rolled on gun one, one success. And on gun two, one success and one triumph. Did you roll your purple? I didn't roll purple. What were they supposed to be? Uh, two purple right. for two each. each yeah. Got it. Oh, that's dry. Stuff. Is there any kind of penalty to shooting two guns? Yeah, that's I think three disadvantage. All right, well, three disadvantage on gun one. He hit still. And... Oh, yeah, you did not hit, two but you had a triumph. triumph. on gun two. Was gun two the guy that Matt scared off of his horse? Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Annabelle did 11 damage to the straight man. All right. Uh, as the three vaqueros rode into the clearing, what they didn't realize is they were riding into a shooting gallery. Annabelle's bullet caught the boisterous vaquero in his chest. Ay, cabron! He yelled as he was uh, flung from his horse. Uh, his body hit the ground with a spray of blood underneath him. The the straight man, uh, the one who implored caution to his leader, uh, his three-legged horse reared up. Three-legged horses, you see, are uh, 
much more stable than regular horses, so he didn't fall <laughs> off. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. They've been four-legged horses the whole time. This isn't some mutant weird fiction shit. The four-legged horse <laughs> reared up and he fell off, uh, slamming on his back and knocking the air out of him. And the good doctor, missing one shot, but the other struck true. Uh, the shadow took a bullet to the chest. Uh, Train, how much damage did you do? Oh, he did eight. Eight damage. Ooh, eight? Okay. Uh, Would it be nine because he got one success? No, it's eight. I okay. already calculated it. If it's a seven, yeah, Thanks, it's a seven damage weapon, he did eight. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Uh, yes, so... Uh, yeah, the good doctor, as good as he is at saving lives, couldn't take this one. He, uh, the, the bullet uh, ripped through the man's clavicle, tearing out his shoulder bone as he fell to the ground as well. The horses, I can fix that! Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the horses, spooked beyond belief, uh, started scurrying off back to the camp. The only place that they'd ever known to call home. What, they were born in that camp? They were born there, bred there, and before nightfall, Raised they'd there. die there. Gee. <laughs> what, are they, like, going to shoot the horses for being mad, uh, for losing their riders? Yep. Uh, they're Mordor horses that are bred to not be afraid of Nazgul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so we shot, we, we open up on their, on, on them, and did we get through the whole Slavo? Salvo? Uh, uh, no, actually, a Slavo Star is a wife. Salvo from uh, Eastern Europe. Oh, uh, uh, oh, look at this Slavo, mate! God, look at all the damage he's done to the Slavo. There it is. That's that's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these fucking Slavos come in, man. And, you know the problem is mediocre pilots. Uh, I, I, I piloted a Jaeger for six months, and I I stopped uh, fucking eight kaiju. You see, the danger with an Australian accent, though, is like. They liberally, turn they liberally <laughs> use the c word in their like just <laughs> nomenclature, and it just makes. That's the thing is like I don't know enough like authentic slang because in movies they don't say cunt every other. Yeah, word, but yeah. So after we shoot all these guys, um, we shoot at these guys. What 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 is their reaction? What is uh, the result? So after the shooting gallery, after the smoke cleared, two of the three men. Lying dead on the ground, the third gasping for air as he held his neck, trying to stop the last bit of blood from uh, escaping from the open wound on his throat. Estoy la sombra. Yeah, he sounds just like the pan from Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> oh, I take it back. I don't think I could fix that one. Por favor, ayúdame. <laughs> Let's double check that uh, we can get any bounties from them. Do you, do you all have the uh, the uh, wanted posters from town? I do hope one of these isn't the son of that lady. Oh yeah, that would be quite an unfortunate turn of events. Uh, wait, <laughs> which lady? Oh, we're looking. Uh, we're looking for one. Not sure we um, got a name. What was her name? We're looking for one George Lopez. Do you know him? <laughs> uh, with with life, uh, trailing from his fast, uh, trailing from him fast, and uh, with a, a trembling hand, he he reached out slowly, and uh, with blood on his fingertips, uh, caressed Annabelle's face trying to bring her in closer. It was clear that, that his own voice was so weak that he couldn't speak loud enough Gross. to be heard unless she came close. Um, Annabelle went in closer, even though she was kind of grossed out. No, quiero morir. And then, what did you ask him? We're looking for a George Lopez. <laughs> ask him anything. Jorge Lopez es una uh, Roy, did anyone catch that? I do believe he said that Jorge Lopez is a ghost. Oh. 
Well, that makes things a tad bit more difficult then. Well, howdy, cowpokes. Thanks for listening. Uh, I bet you didn't know that these people were so bloodthirsty and possibly evil. But uh, there it is. They shot some people dead. I wonder what the uh, aftermath of such bloodshed will be. I guess we'll find out. Uh, anyway, we're still on Twitter and Facebook. Um, but we're also now on WordPress. Goofsandgoblins.wordpress.com uh, there you can find um, episode notes. Uh, I'm going to be posting the player's character sheets with each episode. I've already posted up uh, Matt's character huddle. And uh, this episode will have John Stone's character sheet. Also, there's some uh, visual guides. Uh, whenever we have anything visual... I will also be posting it into the episode. So really the WordPress is the, the place you want to be if you want to uh, really follow along with the podcast. So find us there. Again, that's goofsandgoblins.wordpress.com. And if you do enjoy the podcast, make sure to uh, rate, comment, review, subscribe on iTunes. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, happy trails, travelers.